What is coral bleaching? This coral larvae is a tiny animal, no bigger than a grain of sand. It lives in the open water for up to 30 days until it finds a place to settle. It then grows into a polyp, which looks like an upside down jellyfish. Tiny algae found in the warm waters around coral reefs move into the polyp and multiply. These algae, called zooxanthellae, convert sunlight into food for the polyp. They also give it its incredible colour. The polyp grows and multiplies. Hundreds of polyps form a colony, which we describe as a coral. Over time, different corals will grow and form a reef. Corals are very delicate animals and are very sensitive to change. If the temperature of the water increases by just a couple of degrees, the coral can become stressed and its zooxanthellae will move out. The coral loses its main source of food and its colour. This is coral bleaching. Mass coral bleaching can happen when the sea stays warm for too long and huge areas of coral reef can be affected. If the sea temperature returns to normal quickly enough, the coral can recover. But if it stays hot for too long, the bleached coral will die. Coral bleaching is happening more and more often due to climate change. Coral bleaching is affecting beautiful places like the Great Barrier Reef. Our daily activities are contributing to climate change and putting coral reefs at risk. We can all reduce our impact by adopting reef-friendly habits, like saving energy by turning off unused lights and appliances, avoiding unnecessary car journeys, reusing and recycling products whenever we can. If we take action today, we can help keep the Great Barrier Reef colourful, healthy and full of life.